Hey, what is up guys? And today we're going to be taking a look at a new frame. And this is a $26 frame from Banggood. It's called the Flyfox number no. 8. It's a 220 millimeter wheelbase quadcopter with 4 millimeter arms and it's really really sturdy and stiff which I really, really like. So let's get started here. So first of all, this is meant for HS1177 type cameras as well as 30 by 30 stacks. Now you cannot use this with a 20 by 20 stack, but there is a possibility here. I don't know why these are so tiny holes here. Maybe they're like four M2 screws, which can give you a 20 by 20 overall stack in there which would be really nice in that perspective. Now, this is not a stretched X nor a true X. This is a squashed X, which means it's stretch X is obviously just stretched and a true X is a true X. And then a squashed X is basically these arms are closer together and out. So this is a squashed X frame here, which is really nice, but they're not sitting that anywhere. I had to measure it to figure it out. Now, this is a bottom mount battery frame. So if you're into bottom mount battery frames, this could be a nice little option for $26, which I'm actually thinking of building because it feels so rigid and sturdy. Now, every plate on board is two millimeters, including the camera plates, which is really nice to see here. The arms are really thick and the cuts are phenomenal. For a $26 frame, the cuts are really, really beautiful on this. Unlike the previous one that I've tested, rigidity is very strong. I would give it around 8.3 out of 10 for rigidity here. So that's really nice in that perspective. And the way that the arms are held into place are with three self-locking nuts, which I also like seeing. So it does have a very nice structural rigidity here now if we take a look also here when we, when we take a look at the holes the holes are very well spaced and there's nothing very close to the edge the closest hole to an edge would be in the front here but that's you know that's usually that's how it usually happens here with these types of frames now if you take a look at the motor the motor area looks pretty good this might be a little weak spot here but you know we don't know that until you actually take it out and for a flight and then see how well that'll perform now for gopro mounting solutions i really don't see much maybe you can put some sort of zip tie with some sort of a little stand here of this nature but however this is too thin here and it might cause a little problems especially if you're using some kind of a hard plastic instead of a TPU which TPU could kind of you know bend in a little and you can get those zip ties to hold just right but then again it has these so maybe you could kind of figure out a way to handle this somehow so overall GoPro mounting solution uh, is not really there, which is kind of a shame. I really love a, a quad with a GoPro mounting solution just because I always fly with the GoPro on. Now, as you can tell here, we do have a hole for the SMA mounting, which is really nice. And it does have these, I think these are actually 20 by 20 up here. Let me measure that real quick. Okay, so this is really nice. These are M2 size 20 by 20 hole stacks. So maybe if you had like a very small 20 by 20 uh, VTX some sort you can mount it up here with some kind of nylon standoffs and as well as some screws Which is really nice. So I'm assuming also this is a 20 by 20 stack hole, but an m2 sized hole Which is really nice. So it gives you a little extra Options or a little more flexibility in what you can insert into this However, I wish they were m3, but I guess if they were to go for m3 holes here then the overall rigidity would drop slightly. And I think maybe that's why they didn't go with that. Now the overall height inside is about 30 millimeters. Now, now it's not including the little spacers here, the little self-locking nuts. We can add about 1.5 millimeters. So you'll probably have a good around 29 millimeters or 28.5 millimeters of space inside all the way to the top here. So that's a lot of space. That's really good in that perspective. So you can put easily a three stack and even possibly a four stack in this. So I really like seeing that. And we do have a lot of mounting holes for a VTX or some sort. We can put a lot of zip ties through here and do all kinds of crazy things as you can tell right there so that's also really nice to see as well as the bottom here so if you wanted to go for the bottom or some kind of zip tie your xt60 connector so it doesn't rip off that's also a really nice option they've added down here now this is a five inch frame and uh let's get its weight so they were stating it's 100 grams but here i'm reading around 104 grams but i don't have the most accurate scale but i, I could say it's close it's close enough to say in the 100 gram mark so i'd give it 104 grams even though it says 103 so i give it around 104 grams for this little frame right here arm thickness is around four millimeters as they're stating upper plate should be two millimeters as they're stating also which is also two millimeters and the camera plates I've already measured, which are two millimeters. And the arms are sandwiched between two millimeter carbon fiber plates, which we got the bottom bottom plate and we have the upper bottom plate right here, which is really nice to see. It gives it overall rigid. And uh, the interlocking mechanism, the arms do lock really nicely. Uh, the precision of the cuts look really good on this. And um, just be careful because I almost cut myself around three times with this. It's really sharp cuts. They're not that they're bad cuts, but the way that these are designed right here, 
as you can tell here, it's maybe a little bit difficult to see, but those are really, really sharp. So, you know, the, 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 the precision of the cuts was really good. The manufacturing was really nice to this. The carbon looks absolutely phenomenal here. And um, I'm really impressed for 26 bucks what you can get with this. And it really does look nice, but you know, looking nice is, is completely different than flight characteristics, but also to have a nice looking quad for me is, is really nice to have, you know, just place it down, just have a nice look at it. Uh, but that's just, you know, it's everyone's opinion. Everyone has their own uh, idea of what looks nice. For me, this actually looks really, really good. I really like the sharpness, the smoothness that it's having here. And uh, it just looks like a little nice little monster. And I'm really actually planning on building it because it has so much space inside. However, I just noticed something also. If we take a look at the 30 by 30 stack, we barely have enough room for anything because this whole camera plate. Now, I wish the camera plate probably like had some sort of like a gap of this nature here. That would have been a little bit better. So you can put some kind of a bigger all-in-one flight control here. So you might be kind of constricted in what you can use in here. For example, if you wanted to go for possibly like an Asgard or you wanted to go for the Razer Star F4S, uh, you know, the all-in-one with the ESCs built in, I don't think it'll fit in here. So I just really just noticed that. So I really wish the camera plate was slightly different. That would have been a little bit better or slightly thinner. But, and again, this is, this all contributes to the overall rigidity of the frame especially with having such a massive camera plate here that's two millimeters to take impacts, which is really nice, plus the standoffs as well. That's really nice in that perspective. So I think this can be a little tank, it's a possibility, but also it could be wrong, but this is just my current theory of looking at it. And um, I really want to build this, to be honest. This is looking like a really nice $26 frame. And um, I, would, I would actually, I think I would recommend it from the current quality that I see and from putting it together. The hardware also was really great, uh, which I also really liked in that perspective. So overall, it looks like a really nice one. So 26 bucks, I would definitely pay 26 bucks for this. And like the previous frame we saw, that one was just a bit too, 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 too low of a quality. This is actually a really good quality for 26 bucks, which I'm actually impressed with. And well, that's going to include it for this video, guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you guys have any questions or any suggestions, feel free to let me know. And I'll leave a link to it down below. Please check it out. That'll really support the channel. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace out, guys.